What happened when? In the early hours on Tuesday, June 6, 2023, an explosion caused chaos and tore open the Kahovka Dam in southern Ukraine, igniting worries of extensive and permanent harm to life and ecosystem. While the Ukraine Army's Southern Military Command said the dam had been blown up by Russian forces but Russian official has called it a terrorist act. When the dam, one of the largest in Europe, cracked, a flood of water gushed into cities, villages, and lowlands downstream on the Dnipro River, hitting both Russian and Ukrainian-controlled territory. The dam was holding nearly 18 cubic kilometers of water at the time. According to Ukrainian officials, more than 40,000 people are at risk, including 17,000 in areas controlled by Ukraine west of the Dnipro River and 25,000 in areas controlled by Russia in the east. Effects of the damage. In South Ukraine, the reservoir supplies drinking water to more than 700,000. According to the UN, there is a water supply shortage in Dnipro River cities like Kherson, Nikopol, Marhanets, and Pokrov. According to Roger Falconer, a water engineer at Cardiff University in the UK who specializes in mimicking dam breaches, when the reservoir's water level declines, before the breach, the Kahovka Reservoir held more than 19 cubic kilometers of water. Now, there are only 11 cubic kilometers of water left, as there won't be enough water for the irrigation canals that it typically supplies. Therefore, both upstream and downstream crops may be impacted. According to Ukraine's Environment Ministry, flood water has flooded tens of thousands of hectares of farms and agricultural land, wiping away their topsoil layers. For many years to come, we won't be able to grow agricultural plants on this soil, declared Krasnolutsky. Falconer continues by saying that the flooding might sweep fertilizers used on farmland into the river, disrupting aquatic ecosystems. The sudden rise of water downstream has affected the biodiverse ecosystems both immediately and significantly. According to Krasnolutsky, nearly 160,000 animals and 20,000 birds are in danger, as a result of the calamity. Five internationally significant wetlands and nine locations in Ukraine's Emerald Network, a protected region covering all of Europe, have been submerged. According to the Environment Ministry, Water that has flooded some 55,000 hectares of woodland is expected to stand still for 20 days. Numerous fish species can be found in the Kahovka Reservoir area. Large numbers of fish will either become stuck in shallow, dried-up zones or be pushed out to sea, where they will perish in the salt water. Some of the species in question are uncommon or unique to this region. These include the Nordman's birch mouse, Cisista loriger, which is classified as being internationally endangered. Ukraine's Deputy Foreign Minister Andrzej Melnik has called the breach the worst environmental disaster in Europe since Chernobyl. What we have seen is the tip of the iceberg, says Alexei Vasilyuk, an environmentalist and co-founder of UNCG.